Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baharuka Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Jehovah, etc. The Raka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of this truth, which comes directly from the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, you know, pushing this gospel in all sincerity. Shalom also to the few Akwats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Sharala from the GMS Italy camp. And I want to do this lesson entitled, Do you still believe the devil doesn't exist? Yes, it's a question. And I'm doing this lesson, you know, based on this, on this image that I saw on, on Instagram this earlier today. But well, then, before we go into that, we want to go... I want to start from, you know, from, from the beginning, because if you speak to a Jake, you know, an average Jake, the average people out there believe that the devil is something like this, you know, the average people out there believe that the devil is something like this, in which actually the devil is speaking of a man. Now, let's go deep, straight up. We're going to start from the book of um, Genesis chapter 3, in which, you know, this is a this is another lesson for another time. But I just want to, you know, concentrate on bringing out what the serpent is, you know, the, the serpent that beguiled Eve, you know, which is also synonymous with the devil, Satan, you know. Now, let's go quick. This is the book of Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. It says, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord Yehovah Shem Yahushai had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of any tree of the garden. Now, if we go to the root word of the serpent, you know, many people would think that, you know, it's speaking of, of the, the serpent, you know, a serpent, you know, probably a, a cobra, an anaconda, you know. So its root word is actually from the H5172, which it tells you. Strong's H5172. Nachash. Nachash. So as you heard, Nachash, you know. Now this is the reason, this is the meaning. It says enchantment, divine enchantment. Indeed, certainly learn by experience, diligently observe. To practice divination, divine observe signs learned by experience, diligently observe, practice fortune telling, take as an omen, you know, to practice divination, to observe the signs or omen. So as you can see, this is not speaking about a serpent, it's not speaking about a python, it's not speaking about a cobra, this is speaking about a sorcerer, a sorcerer, you know. You see, whisper a magic spell. You see, enchanter, you know. Well, so as you can see, the serpent right there is telling you that, you know, it's not a regular serpent, but it is a person, you know, because, well, anyway, let's get something else to, to back this up. And this is going to be found in the book of um, 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 11. Because these are things that you wouldn't learn in the, in the church, you know. In the church, they'll, tell, they'll let you know that the devil is a spirit, is just something like this. But they're not going to teach you. They don't go deep into words. They don't make any researches, you know. <laughs> that's the, I don't really know. It's probably because the most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai hasn't given them the understanding. He has given them that spirit, you know, not to understand, not to research things. 
you know that's why the second book of um timothy chapter 2 verse 16 tells you to study to show thyself approved before god dividing the word of truth you know but these people don't do all that you know they only they only preach you know for god so loved the world every sunday in which they still don't have the right breakdown of that they teach um um, um pay your tithes you know that's all they teach man prosperity they don't teach the scriptures you know that's why those who have the spirit of the most high yahweh bashim yahushai are going to come out from all these you know wicked religions you know the bible doesn't speak of religion it speaks about our people israel it speaks about a pact between the most high and a people now this is the book of second corinthians chapter 11 verse 3 says but i fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled eve through his subtlety so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in the amashiach okay now if you go to the root word of the serpent right there which this one is written in greek you know it tells you all feasts oops i really don't know why it's going like this i don't need this to go like this no when it goes like this it doesn't give me what i need but anyway never mind i have the scriptures right here this book of second corinthians um uh, chapter 11 verse 3 which quotes but i fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled eve through his subtlety so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in the Amashiach. That is in Amashiach. Now, if you go to the word serpent, you know, we said it was office, as you saw, office. Now, if you, if you go through it, it tells you it comes from the word G3700. It says, through the idea of sharpness of vision, a snake figuratively as a type of sly cunning listen carefully you say a uh, a type of sly cunning an artful malicious person especially satan you know it says the, the the ancients the serpent with the ancients the serpent was an emblem of cunning and wisdom the serpent who deceived eve was regarded by the jews as the devil okay so what did we read about the devil before, you know? You know, he says, as a type of slight, cunning, artful, malicious person, especially sat Satan. Okay, now let me see the, the, the root word. Is it not giving me the root word? Well, that's good. We got what we want to get. Let me see. Usually goes, but that's okay. So you see, it's actually speaking about a person, you know. It's speaking about a person. Let's get now. If you go to the word devil, you now he says a devil. So we can just pick a word devil. Now, I want to pick one more scripture, you know, that's reasonable, which is um, the book of Revelation 2.10. Okay. Now, if you go into the book of Revelation 2.10, this is Yahweh Shai speaking. That's why you see it in red. It says, for none of those things which thou shalt suffer. It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, because the devil shall cast some of you into prisons. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto dirt, death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay, so Yahweh is saying the devil is going to close some of us, is going to imp imprison some of us, you know. So, how can a spiritual devil do that, you know? But then, don't get it wrong, you have 
the spiritual devil and you have the physical devil, you know. Now, in its physical form, it's speaking about a race of people, you know, which are the so-called Edomites. The Edomites, which in the Lashwan Kodash, the ancient Hebrew, they are known as Aishashwa, Esau, Adawam. Okay, so now if we go to the root word of this devil, it's going to give you Diabolos, Diabolos. Now it says, it, it traduces, specifically Satan, it says compare H7854, it says, false accuser, devil slanderer, prone to slander, slanderously accusing falsely, a calumniator, false accuser, Sandra. It says metaphor applied to a man who by opposing the cause of God may be said to act the part of the devil to side with him. So you see, they're also showing you that it is speaking of a man. Okay. Now you have Satan, which Satan Satan um, means um 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 What's the word in which we're going to we're going to get that one also? We're going to get that one also. It says, it says a metaphor applied to a man. That's the devil, you know. So going back to what we were saying, you know, the regular Jake, the the average Jake would think the devil is something like this: is a spirit, you know. Well, yes, you have the spiritual devil, but you have also its physical count counterpart. Okay, now. Let's get the book of um let's get the book of um second Corinthians going back to second Corinthians you know chapter eleven and this time around I'll go to verse fourteen it says and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light okay and that's exactly what's going on now because now you don't expect to see that devil you know the satan the satan is actually let's go into the root word of this of satan a false accuser you know it says satanas it says the accuser the accuser this is devil okay adversary one who opposes another in purpose or act the name given to the prince of the spirits the invet inveterate adversary of yahweh and the Hamashiach. you know you see this is the name given to satan means adversary it says one who opposes another okay you see, it's the name given to the prince of evil spirits which is the spiritual satan you know and those who follow him you know they do his will they are actually his angels you know in which we're going to go into the root word of angel which means messenger you know so you have the spiritual messenger and the physical messenger just like we have spiritual angels and we have physical angels so those who do the will of satan are devils you know and they are actually walking in the physical form they are men you know they are men amongst us you know so anyway i think you know we have enough here now let's see the word angel it tells you angelos angelos okay so it tells you an angel is a messenger, okay? A messenger, a messenger, envoy, one who is sent. So you can either have the spiritual angel, okay? Which, you know, one of them that's uh, famously known is Michael on his Hebrew, ancient Hebrew name, Mikahala, which means who is like the power, okay? Then those who are doing the will of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is is um is apostles, you know, they are also angels, you know, because they are messengers, you know. Now 
I want to go because, well, there are, there are lots of points I could also bring out of there, but, you know, this should be enough for those who have, you know, the spirit of understanding, you know. Now, this is the book of Second Thessalonians. No, what am I doing? This is the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter 2. Now, I'll start reading from verse 3, which quotes, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a fallen away first. That fallen away, you know, speaking of 70 AD, you know, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God, or what, or that is that that is um worshipped, so that he as God seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So this is someone physical that we are going to see, you know. And that man of sin is talking about a race of people, you know. Most especially those who are actually leading them. Speaking about the Edomites. Now, I want to show you some more things. I haven't brought out the scriptures. Now, let's go to some other things. Now, check this out. It says, Did the devil put us in slavery or the white man? Do it. Okay, that's a question. This is the question I want to ask all of you. You know, those who are saying, no, the devil does not exist. You know, this is the spirit of blah, blah. You know, there's a question. So who put you into slavery? Who put the, the Negroes, the Native Americans, you know, the Latinos, who are these true sons of Israel? Who is the one that put them into slavery? Is it the spiritual devil? No, it's the, it's the physical counterpart, the physical devil. You know, and we know who he is, you know. As you can see, this image right there, it looks like Esau, a white man. <laughs> it says, did the devil put drugs and guns in your communities, then arrest us, or did the white man, man do it? You know, who did this? So, you know, we read, we read according to Satan, Satan says someone that does things that are contrary to the will of the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushua. Let's get that, that, that thing again, you know. Let's get that point again. Fourteen. So he says, one who opposes others in purpose or act, the one that that opposes, you know, one name given to the prince of evil spirit, the invertebrate adversary of God, incites apostasy from God to sin. Okay. No, this is not what I want to get, you know. Let's look at the verse 3 here. You know. An artful malicious person, okay? An artful malicious person, you know. So now check this out. Who is this person? You know, these are the questions you have to ask yourself. He said, Did the devil tell us it's okay to be the alphabet? You know, I don't want them to clip this video. You know, he says, Did the devil tell us it's okay to be alphabet or did the white man do it? Who did it? He said, Did the devil put abortion clinics in our communities or did the white man do it? It says, did the devil buy up all the farmland to stab us to death or did the gates of hell do it? So now, you, if, if, you're, if, if the spirit is working with you, you should start getting and understanding who this devil is actually, what we're dealing with, you know, that man of sin, you know, he's being revealed, you know, as in the second book of Thessalonians 2, 3 that we just read that he's going, he must be revealed. He's been revealed in all angles, man. He's made bare, bare. All the secrets, all the things, all the plans has been doing, all the wickedness has been doing, you know, eating children, you know, sacrificing children, you know, drinking their blood to get adrenochrome and doing all sort of wickedness. You know, you can watch the rest, the other videos that I've put on, 
you know, watch the last three or four videos that I did, you know, you'd see I was really coming on these people, you know, bringing out some, some secrets out of these people, you know, these are the real devils, you know, these are the devils it's speaking of, but if you go to those wacky tacky churches, you know, they'll show you the man with the red horns, you know, and tell you he's devil, and in which you see the devil is synonymous with the red, you know, and that red that you see goes back to Esau, Edom. In the book of um, Genesis 25, read from verse 25, you know, he came out red. That's the skin tone. There is no black, there is no white. There is no one that is white and there is no one that is black. These were things that, 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 came, that came into the story in the 1600s, you know, by the so-called white man. You only have the red man and the brown man. Now, going back, it says, it says, did the devil beat the son of God, then hang him from a tree and pierced the side, or did the white man do it? Who did it? <laughs> it says, did the devil destroy the planet, or did the white man do it? Did the devil colonize Africa, steal all its resources, then made you stupid ass to feed the children? Or did the white man do it? <laughs> it says, did the devil commit genocide on the native American Indians? Or did the white man do it? Last question. Did the devil paint his face as the son of God and financed the whole world? Or did the white man do it? Now... This is the point we, we, we just spoke of, you know, going back to the book of 2 Thessalonians, you know, 2, verse 3. It says, And so that he sit he, he, and so that he as God seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And you know the so-called painting of Jesus right there, which his name is not Jesus. The so-called painting you see right there is nothing but the painting of Cesare Borgia, you know? Cesare Borgia, who was the second son of the sixth Pope, you know? This is the image, you know? And Yahweh Shai, the son of the Most High, according to the book of um, Revelation 1, um, if you read from... Um, chapter is it revelation chapter one if you read from verse 13 to 15 it tells you the description of the son of the most high that he is a so-called negro he has woolly hair the color of his body is burnt brass you know so now you're getting a picture of more or less who is the devil the devil is the so-called white man you know, a.k.a. Esau, Edom, you know, biblical nationality. Let's go to the next one. Now, this one says Jesus came to save everybody. Who does the white man need to be saved from? Though his name is not Jesus, I hate, I hate using that name because that's not his name, you know. Now, take a picture. Just look at this, you know. It's like the so-called white men, you know, that de de depict themselves as Jesus, you know, as the people of Jesus, you know, in which this Jesus is a is a wicked name. I'm going to do another lesson on that. This is what they've been doing to the real Hebrew Israelites, the so-called Negroes, the Native Americans and the Latinos. See them smiling, you know. I'm just going to put out only this photo. There are lots of photos in which are very, very graphic. Now, who does things like this? <laughs> who does things like this, you know? Chopping off people's head. Carrying out your own stupid, you know, wicked experiments on this. Now, who does things like this? This is when he went down to Africa and presented them with the queen of heaven. You know? That's him. It's the devil. He deceives. <laughs> you know, he portrays himself as an angel of light. You know? Now let's get some things from here. 
This is the book I once spoke about. It says the protocols of the wise men of Zion. You know, this is just like a, a Bible, the Bible of those people. So, you know, I screenshot some excerpts from the book, but no, not really directly from the book, from from um, from a documentary where someone brought out excerpts from the book. Now, listen, it says, we shall go down the Goyim. That's what they call us, you know. Goyam, which means Gentiles, I believe, you know, Goyim, the strangers, you know, they, they actually, they actually portray themselves as the, as the real Jews. And we know what the first book of um, Revelation says, you know, it says they are the synagogue of Satan, you know, also the third chapter, you know, those, you know, who, who act as if they are, they are the real Jews, just merely paraphrasing, you know, they are the synagogue of Satan, you know. And there is a scripture, is it in Isaiah, that says, you know, bastards shall dwell in Hashdod, you know. These people occupying the land of Israel today, they're not the real Israelites, you know. We know their history. Just go and watch the video that I did, which is um, the true origin of the Caucasians, you know. Then you get to understand more where they come from. So he says, we shall so." We shall so wear down the Goyim that they will offer us international power that will enable us to form a super government. In place of the rulers of today, we shall set up a super government administration. Its hands will reach out in all directions and its organization will be of such colossal dimension that it cannot fail to subdue all the nations of the world. And this is actually their plan, the NWO. You know what it is, the new world, or complete it by yourself. You know, this is their plan. You know, he says, one, author one authority will be glorious because it will be all-powerful. Our authority will be the crown of order. And in that is included the world happiness of man. You know, they believe that they are going to rule forever. You know, they believe they are going to succeed in this reset they are planning to do. But they don't know the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is the one actually, you know, using them as instruments on his left hand. Now watch this video. Okay, you guys need to check this out. Artificial wombs. This is the artificial womb facility. A place where humans could be grown entirely from scratch. The devices you see here are called growth pods. Each growth pod is designed to replicate the same conditions that exist inside the mother's uterus. Growth pods are designed to host human fetuses until they are fully developed. These artificial wombs are designed to help premature babies to continue developing after their birth. But emerging scientific research is making it possible to use them to create designer humans entirely from scratch. Now, as you can see, this wicked man, so-called white man, he saw Edom, he wants to represent, he wants to replace God, you know? He wants, he wants to be called God. Now let's read the second book of Thessalonians 2, 3 again. It, said, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there shall be a fall, falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Even his people of his own like, they are finding out that he is the true devil, you know, the cancer of the earth. You know, he says, Who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped so that he as god seated in the temple of god showing himself that he is god you know now remember what we read here it says in verse 14 no um angel of light I know it's the second corinthians 11 14 you know he says and no marvel for this for satan himself is transformed into an angel of light you know so hey for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against you know principalities and powers and high places you know this 
so-called white man Esau Edom is the real devil, you know. So you better get your point straight, man. You know, there's people, Jake's still going to churches, you know, in 2021, you know, still being fed lies. You know, come out before it's too late because a lot is about to go down. Now, let me ask one more question. Who does stuff like this? Because this is what's going on now and this is coming to anywhere close to you very soon. It says... Germany state allows all stores to exclude unvanessed customers, including food and other everyday goods. I'm not going to read it, you know, but you know, check out who does things like this. Only the devil would do things like this, you know. Let's check out something else. You no, know, just bringing out this because these are parts of what's going on today. Who does things like this? Check this out. You know, let me translate. Translate. Now it says, The hand of Gre and the Rien Bole from Husterland, who turned into a rooster, is no longer. Now we are being called flat again. Now, this is going to be, I believe, the first hen. You know that converted to a rooster so this is going to be the first transformer hen now who does things like this only the devil man only the devil would do things like this who is going to change the gender of a hen and turn it to a male hen you know this is the devil this is the work of the devil and if you're yet to see all this then I really don't know what to tell you. And this is what's going on in um this is what's going on in um in Australia. Just going to read the, the top. So it says the Australian military transfers residents from C19 areas to quarantine camps, you know. The apostles and elders have been teaching these for centuries, for, for not centuries, for decades, you know. People are laughing at them, you know, saying all sorts of things against them. But these things are just right at your door. Now, over here in Italy, you know, they've been speaking about, you know, following the same, the same steps. Because that's just the new trend. A country does something, then the rest of the country points at that country. Oh, they are doing that. We also have to do it, you know, to save lives and this and blah, 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 you know. So you better get your facts ready, you know. Be ready for what's about to come. So those of you who are still thinking that this man is the, is, is, the, is the good man, is the angel of light, you know, whatever you want to believe, you know, you're in for a rude awakening, you know. So, hey, this is the lesson. Hopefully, it was edifying. You know, just let me quickly read this one more. It says, Did the devil put us into slavery or did the white man do it? Did the devil put drugs or, and guns in our communities then arrest us or did the white man do it? Did the devil tell us it's okay to be alphabet or did the white man do it? Did the devil put abortion, abortion clinics in our communities or did the white man do it? Did the devil buy up all the farmland to starve us to death or did the gates of hell do it? Did the devil beat the son of God then hang him from a tree and pierce the side or did the white man do it? Did the devil destroy the planet or did the white man do it? Did the devil colonize Africa, steal all its resources then made your stupid ass to feed the children or did the white man do it? Did the devil commit genocide on the Native American Indians or did the white man do it? For did the devil paint his face as the son of God and, and find, finance, I don't know what it means, and finds the world, the whole world, or did the white man do it, you know? So, hey, ask, your, ask yourself that question again, you know, and get your point straight because there is no time anymore time is just short there is no damn time anymore you know prophecies are popping out and we know the return of our mashiach is just very close so hopefully this lesson was edifying i would like to give all praises to the most high yahawah 
Bahasham Yahawashai Waharu Kakudash Shalom.